Ming Labashin. I'm Kimberly Phillips, bringing you the top stories for DVB. Ethnic villages in Sagain Division are demanding an end to gold mining on the Chindwin River. They've accused the extractive industry sector of ruining the local farmland and heightening community tensions. The Kuki Human Rights Organisation said at a Tuesday press conference it had the support of over 3,000 people for their petition. Currently, two companies are legally mining on the river, but villagers say others operate without a licence, and they point to a rise in drug use and violence in the Kuki community. They say opium has become readily and cheaply available since mining began in 2008. A convoy of military vehicles was ambushed on Tuesday in Shan State in yet another show of combined force from the KIA and TNLA. The convoy was hit by an IED explosion in the northern Shan township of Senwei before being set upon by armed rebel fighters, according to state media. Several servicemen sustained injuries in the clash. The fighting has been almost non-stop since tensions ignited in Musei district on Sunday, in which the MNDAA launched a joint attack with the KIA and TNLA on military outposts near the Chinese border. <laughs> <laughs> Shia Muslims in Bagor region are commemorating one of the most famous battles in Islamic history. The observers in Prome are marking the Battle of Kabbalah, in which Hussein, who was the grandson of the Prophet Muhammad, is said to have died. In dramatic scenes of mourning that began on Monday, attendees are self-flagellating to pay their respects to Hussein. The local imam told DVB the 40-day mourning period is sacred to the local Shia community. You can find all of these top stories and more on dvb.no. Good night.